What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and today we're having a battle royale between the top dog of the Android camera space and the underdog. This is the Galaxy S8 versus the OnePlus 5. So real quick, let's talk about the cameras on both of these phones. With the Galaxy S8, we have a 12 megapixel sensor with an aperture of f1.7, which is gonna get you some nice, good low light shots. We also have optical image stabilization here and an LED flash. Now moving over to the OnePlus 5, here we have a dual camera setup. So the first one here is a 16 megapixel sensor with an f1.7 aperture. And then we have a 20 megapixel telephoto lens with an f2.6 aperture. Now, unfortunately, there's no optical image stabilization here, but we'll see if that affects the photos at all in a little bit. All right, so here we have a front facing camera test on the Galaxy S8 and the OnePlus 5. Should give you a good idea of how the exposure changes and things like that and the clarity and the stabilization as well. But let's go ahead and check out some rear camera samples. So taking a look at photos from both of these devices side by side, it's really hit or miss depending on the condition. Now I'm gonna say that the Galaxy S8 is definitely noticeably sharper in a lot of the images and that just could be because the Galaxy S8 tends to over sharpen things in post, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because it spits out an image that's great and ready to go. With the OnePlus 5, we do have an exceptional camera here as well that in many ways can hold its own against the top dog of the Android space, the Galaxy S8. One thing that I did begin to notice is that in low light or some of the shadows on other pictures taken from the OnePlus 5, it starts to break up a little bit and get a little grainier, at least a lot quicker than the Galaxy S8 does. Landscape shots between the two are great as well, but I did notice that when you get into the low light space, the Galaxy S8 does a little bit of a better job suppressing noise. I do happen to prefer the white balance on the OnePlus 5. It just seems a little bit more accurate and true, at least to my eyes, when I'm looking at the scene that I'm shooting. So that's definitely one thing to consider. But overall, I think the Galaxy S8 has a better checklist here all around, though the OnePlus 5 surprisingly is not very far behind, especially given its price and all the specs that you get in there. It's definitely something to check out. And if you wanna check out my review on the OnePlus 5, you can find that link below, as well as the review to the Galaxy S8. Like I said before, the OnePlus 5 does have a dual camera setup, which can get you some pretty unique photos over the Galaxy S8. We have a dedicated portrait mode on this phone, which will actually allow you to get a nice, cool, blurry background that you see in a lot of professional or DSLR type photos. You can achieve that with the camera on the OnePlus 5, and it's actually pretty good. If this isn't definitive proof that megapixels aren't everything, the battle between the Galaxy S8 and the OnePlus 5 definitely shows that you don't need the most megapixels to save the day. So taking all those things into consideration, which smartphone camera is your favorite? Is it the Galaxy S8? or the OnePlus 5. Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts and also a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. And also subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thank you very much for watching everyone. This is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video.